Welcome to the next video on programming with SQLite. In this video, we'll show how to use SQLite with JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript has some basic interfaces to the SQLite database. Open database is the first one. It creates a new SQLite database and returns a handle. Execute exec SQL uh, executes the SQLite statement. And it also has um, a place for uh, callback functions where you can process the results. There's also a close function, but we're not going to use it. Um, I chose JavaScript for this example because I can use it effectively with uh, any browser based on WebKit, such as uh, Google Chrome or Safari. And it can also eventually be made to work on the iPhone. As well, Lite comes baked into the, JavaS into the JavaScript object model for, uh, for these browsers, as well as the document object, sorry, the, the, the uh, the JavaScript API. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is fire up this application, and uh, it is um, a basic HTML page. And what I'm going to do is load up the JavaScript console, which runs here. Now you'll see in the in the code, it's all here in the browser. I'll just move this thing down a little bit. So top of the code, you've got doc type equals HTML. That's important to tell it's HTML5. Uh, there's a bunch of manifest stuff here and it's just to, for, for caching and whatever. I'll leave it at that for now. Um, over here we've got a bunch of scripts. The key one is the DB. It's the database handle. There's an open notes function where you call the open notes open database API. Uh, show schema is a function to show the database schema. Again it calls select star from SQLite master and then it uh, actually runs the code show notes shows the notes uh, create note table you have to create a notes table before you can add anything to it uh, you can delete notes and you can create notes and then I just have a, a handler for the for the button that's this guy up here all right and then here you've got just basic HTML with some stuff at the top you have a button with a button handler and you have two divs, one is notes and one is schema and uh, that's where the uh, database contents will be dumped. Alright, let's get going. Okay, first thing, I'm just going to make this a little bigger. Okay, so we start off, um, just look at the database handle, null. Okay, so um, I'm going to run uh, open notes database. Now here's what the code looks like. Fairly straightforward. Um, you can run either bit of code. Since this is an easy block, I'll just copy it and paste it. So now opening the database. There we go. And DB is indeed a database object. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is show schema. So if I go okay, again it dumps everything it, it runs as select star from SQLite master and it takes the results and dumps them into uh, the schema node. So if I run this if I run this function so I go show schema you'll see here that the actual um, schema was run and there's only a, a default table that gets created. Uh, however, there are no other tables, so now what I'm going to do is run create note table. First, I'm just going to show you the code. And basically, it calls on the DB handle, it runs a transaction, uh, and the function it runs is execute SQL, and it runs create table web sticky notes with an ID, a note, and a timestamp. And for uh, and then for the result, it uh, creates a and alert. Alright, so then if I go create note table, it runs and it calls the alert saying, hey, I just created it. Okay, now if you look at the console and you go show schema, okay, watch here, right, 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 right below here, you'll see another, another row appear. Now we have a table in here, 
right? It's a table. The name is Web Sticky Notes, and it's got a bunch of here's the SQL that was used to create it. So now you have the table, which is wonderful. But now, if I go show no load notes, it goes great, but it doesn't have anything under the notes. So what I'm going to do is now create some notes. So I'm going to show the code for create note, and you see that it is. Um, it is uh, insert into web sticky notes values, you know, and in, in, inserts three values including the timestamp. So if I go create note one j, okay, and now if I do show notes, uh, before I do that, see show notes again runs this query select. Uh, ID note and timestamp from the web WebKit sticky notes and then what it does is it takes it into this notes DOM ID which is stored right in here and it appends it so what I'm going to do is run show notes and bang we've got the second ID is one timestamp is this and J so if I do um, create note K, create note 3, me, create note 4, gray, and then if I go show notes, look up, look up here at the top, okay, when I do show notes, bang, now you have the four rows. Okay, now you can delete notes as well. If I go it runs a um, again on the DB a transaction, it runs the execute SQL, delete from WebKit sticky notes where ID equals whatever you put in here. So if I go delete note I don't know three. And then if I go show notes, you'll notice here, three should disappear. Let's see what happens. Three disappears. And if I go delete note one, then you'll see that one disappears. And there you go. And um, now you see the first note was deleted. And you can, so you can add and delete notes, and it's all driven by the local SQLite database. Anything you ran on the JavaScript console can also run inside your web page triggered by buttons, mouse events, or page events. With this capability, you can make database-driven web applications that don't need to talk to a remote server to have their content driven by data. Um, and that concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, take the time to rate it so that it will be more searchable on YouTube.